Yeah. One of the biggest news stories of this past week is the conviction of Carl Bloom. Conviction one, I can't hear. Okay, one of the biggest news stories of this past week is the Carl Bloom. Oh yeah, right. I'd like to hear your comments. Well, I, my, uh, my comment is that Oliver North is a properly convicted felon, no question about that. Uh, but that, uh, he, he, he received orders. He got orders from Reagan, presumably possibly from Bush. And uh, that question, where do you stand on people who are doing illegal things or, 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 or carrying on government aggression under orders? And uh, it's a very interesting philosophical point. You know, and, uh, I personally don't think you should absolve them. I'm sick of the order stuff. And when the prosecutor, John Kecker, raised the Hitler point, I think he's making a good point. He's making the point that I, that was the Eichmann defense. He was just carrying out orders. He wasn't doing anything. He wasn't a, he wasn't a rogue elephant, a rogue cowboy, whatever you want to call it. And I think you have to apply the same sort of standards in the United States. I can't have to say that I'm, I've obeyed orders is not good enough. You can't, you, you, after all, you can't resign, despite Rothbard's law. Some, some people can resign. You have the freedom to get out. Uh, the government. So uh, that's my position. It's essentially anti-North and anti-Reagan. By the way, North is patriotic hokum to the extent he'd go, he stand on his head for the president and all that sort of stuff. You notice when Bush came to the shove and his, line, his neck was on the line, he didn't stand on the head for anything. He was subpoenaing Reagan, right? And, and trying to expose these so-called secret documents. So uh, I don't see this nobility there either. He took an oath to uphold the Constitution yeah, himself. He right. can't I think there's also very, 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 very smart politics on the part of the prosecution to bring in a wounded marine hero as a prosecutor, which offset the wounded marine bit.